Good to have you with us. Well, it's another critical day for Eurozone economies as fears mount over the impact of a disorderly Greek exit from the single currency. Today, finance ministers from across the European Union meet in Brussels. Also, France's new president, François Hollande, will meet, have his first meeting in Berlin with his German counterpart, Angela Merkel, following his inauguration in Paris. As these key players meet to discuss the crisis, the political stalemate in Greece remains unresolved. Talks will resume in Athens again today if they fail to come up with a solution before Thursday. Also in two hours' time, the latest growth figures are expected to show the eurozone slipped back into recession. Economists predicting a contraction of 0.2% in the first quarter of this year. And late yesterday, the ratings agency Moody's cut the credit ratings for 26 Italian banks, citing their vulnerability to more trouble in the eurozone. The banks include some of Italy's largest lenders, Unicredit and Intesa San Paolo. Needless to say, this is causing investors to sell the euro. The interest rate on Spanish and Italian debt's been climbing and shares are falling. We'll look at how the markets are reacting in Asia right now when we speak to Rico in a moment. But first of all, let's go to Brussels and speak to Sonny Kapoor, Managing Director at Redefine. Nice to see you, Sonny. It's been an interesting 48 wow. hours. Tell us what you think uh, EU finance ministers will be tackling when they meet today in Brussels. Well, they have to be looking at uh, stopping the speculation that has really been taking hold and causing market panic about the possibility of a Greek exit. The fact of the matter is that there is no preparation of any substantial kind for a Greek exit. It's not on the cards, at least in the foreseeable future, and nobody really in the Eurozone wants it to actually fall out. Now, the second important thing they would be discussing is how to arrest the downward spiral that the Eurozone is caught up in. The Spanish banks that you referred to, the downgrade of the Italian banks, the fact that Eurozone might once again be entering into recession. All of this has to be tackled through something that Redefine proposed in January, which has now been taken up by politicians. A growth pact, an agreement of a set of policy proposals, including, for example, higher investment by the European Investment Bank, efforts to tackle tax avoidance and tax evasion cuts don't have to be so bad. And also, very importantly, defining a roadmap as to where the Eurozone is headed. Right, one, no one, right now, nobody knows. As you say, an enormous agenda, so much to tackle. The market speculation is very important. Herman Van Rompuy, head of the Eurogroup, late yesterday saying we didn't even discuss a Greek uh, exit in Brussels. How do they manage that? Because in the markets, most, you know, many, many traders are saying we're not talking about when it may exit, uh, sorry, if it may exit, but when it will exit. So how do they stop that sort of speculative action from going on? Well, I think we have to stop the extremely irresponsible game of chicken that is right now underway between Greek politicians and European leaders. So it was that European leaders wanted to send a message to the negotiating Greek politicians that completely renegotiating the terms of the bailout was not an option. And if things were to come to that pass, then Greece might as well be pushed out of the Eurozone. The only problem is everybody else is listening too. So whatever needs to happen, needs to happen behind closed doors, across a table uh, where proper negotiations need to include some loosening of the terms of the Greek bailout, which is obviously not working, and at the same time a recognition in Greece that it, its future, at least for the foreseeable uh, few years, does lie in the Eurozone and any exit would inflict vast, massive human damage, uh, both to Greece as well as to the rest of the Eurozone, as we saw from the contagion yesterday. It's political, it's social, it's economic, and the costs simply are enormous and the benefits don't add up in the foreseeable future. All right, Sonny Kapoor, thank you very much indeed for your analysis from uh, Redefine. Let's now take you to the Asian markets. Rico, 